In general, driving west to keep up with the sun isn't a viable strategy. Even at the northernmost tip of mainland Norway, you'd have to travel at about half the speed of sound to keep up with the sun. Luckily, there's a better approach. If you're in northern Scandinavia on a day when the sun just barely sets and then rises again, the day-night line moves northwest, then slows, reverses, and heads back to the southwest. To get a long sunset, the strategy is simple. Sit in your car until the sun first touches the horizon, which means the day-night line is about to pass you. Then drive north to stay a little ahead of the line as long as you can, which will keep the sun in the process of setting. Then you turn and drive south across the line into nighttime. I ran a search for long sunset driving paths using some Pi FM code and GPS traces of Norwegian highways, and I found that the strategy works about equally well anywhere inside the Arctic Circle. Over a wide range of routes and driving speeds, the longest sunset I could come up with was consistently about 95 minutes, which is about 40 minutes longer than the longest sunset you can get in Longyearbyen. But if you are stuck on Svalbard and you want to make the sunset or sunrise last a little longer, you can always try spinning counterclockwise so your angular momentum slows the Earth's rotation. It's true that it will only add an imperceptibly small fraction of a nanosecond, but it might be worth it.